Hello, welcome back. If you're uh, if you're back from the previous episode, thanks for joining me again. Um, yeah, um, let's just get going. Um, I'm gonna. I think what I've decided in my time off. Oh, this is a dex weapon. I think I might actually stick with a battle axe and just level it up because I much prefer it. Even though it is a one-hander, naturally, I think. Let's level it up anyway. One more smithing stone. Hmm. Have I changed my controls around? No. Yeah, one more smithing stone. So, what was we going to do? I think we should go over here. Because we are on survival mode. And we don't want to um, die, so... Let's move on. I think this dude just points to that little cave over there, doesn't he? Yeah. So yes, let's move on. Um, got to warm up, got to get into it. Not long got on, new day, new dawn. So anyway... Yeah, we need to get some more smithing stones. Because this axe is solid. A very good weapon. I feel like you could use this the whole way through the game, maybe. It just moves so fast. And I think it does good damage. It looks like it does good damage anyway, but... You know, I don't think looks are always the go-to um, factor in Elden Ring, is it, you know? Like, it looks like a beast, but, you know, it could get out damaged by, like, a l little short sword, potentially. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What is this one? I think this is the one where you get, if I remember. Um, sp spirit summons of, like... Normal men, or something like that, like Lord Sworn men. I think that's what this place is. Ah, fuck you now. It's the fucking. It's these guys. Oh, the range just isn't there, though. I have no range. No range at all. Rubbish range. Don't listen to this guy. Absolutely zero range though, I need to remember that. What is it? Oh, it's an overhead. I wish this game was a little bit like Chivalry. No, not really, actually. I'm not sure. You know, Chivalry, you've got um, overheads, you've got slashes. You know, I feel like on here, what's the point of a big slow overhead other than a little bit more damage? Oh yeah, posture. Posture. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Still ain't got a fucking torch. I need a torch. Okay, that wasn't good. Air. There, why ain't it coming down? Oh, fuck's sake! Ah! <laughs> Such a noob. And he used the golden eyes as well. For anyone who doesn't know, anyone who doesn't follow this, golden eyes means you get, I think, triple experience for killing them, I think.
Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. See, I'm kind of regretting upgrading this battle axe now, suddenly. Oh, no. No, and again, and again. Trying to like roast them. Anyway, let's use the uh, let's use this um, ah. I was going to say, let's use the fire. Goblins or whatever these things are. Um, gargoyles, yeah, they're the worst, I swear. Never seen that screenshot before. Is that new with the DLC? I wish the DLC would put a little bit... Um, a little bit into the normal game as well, you know? Just so you can get a nice couple of surprises when you're playing a normal game. That would be nice. Okay, yeah, I'll find the power there. Fucking hell, how fucking close do you have to be? You literally have to do it like on this perfect timing. Hey, hey, hey. Oh no! Jesus! Right. We're doing a hit and run. <sighs> Fucking idiot I am. Doing a hit and run. Jesus Christ. It's this battle axe. <laughs> it feels so short. I kind of miss it now. I kind of miss the range of the greatsword, but I like the speed of the battle axe. I'm still, I'm still not going to make it. I'm still not going to make it. If I lose these bloody runes, I'll do nothing about it. Right, here we go. Let's do it with perfect timing as well. Perfect timing. Whip. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, this is going to kill me. how it's supposed to be done. Do we not go up there? No? Must be a different different cave. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Always check your corners. It'll be like an SAS fucking operator. I saw you on the fucking roof, you bastard. I oh, know that's a big hobo. Yep, ambushing with me, are ya? Oh, I'm not getting ganked. Let's use this. I feel like this game uh, gives you unhealthy levels of rage <laughs> and stress. 
Still one free hitting. Free hitting ain't good. Two hitting would be best. Or one hit would be even better. I can take two of them. Oh, fuck. Two thousand two hundred runes. We're gonna go use them before we fight the boss. I hope it ain't that uh, boss with the giant statue thing. How many have we got? Just one. Actually, I'm a because I'm a veteran, a seasoned vet. I know what to do. Really, a real season vet would have known exactly how much to um, do. You know, I sh should have seen exactly how much I was low on. Uh, I, I feel like we're just going to need dexterity, and it just feels like maybe I should get it. But I don't feel the like dexterity is going to help me whatsoever in this boss fight. I'm probably going to go maybe vigor or... One vigor, one strength. Yeah, one vigor, one strength. Right, here we go. Boss time. Wish me luck. Yep, this is fucker. I hate this guy. I swear he's got little minions as well, isn't he? Or is this a different one? Please don't have minions. Oh! This guy's the fucking worst. No minions. Aye! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm rubbish at this game. You're not wrong. Thrust. Perfect dodge. I think I can just out tank this guy. Shit timing. Perfect dodge. What I like to see. Go on, I've got the timing down. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Nice. No! Come on, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Let's get that easy one, yes. Oh, you fucking changed it up! Don't worry, we got this. I might try my uh, secret ability thing, my ash. I feel like that's gonna work. Oh, what are you doing, motherfucker? Stop changing your shit up. Never seen that before. Remember this. Oh. 
Oh wow. Really wanted that. Saying that though, I never use summons. I might start using them. I feel like they're uh, such a cheesy way to play though, aren't they? What is next to do? I kind of want to do the castle of Lothric. No, I don't even know if it's the right castle. Not Joffrey's castle. The castle at the bottom end of Limgrave. I kind of want to do that. And get another Titanite Shard. Where am I going to get a Titanite Shard? I've put money into this bloody axe now. I'm kind of regretting it. But I want to go over to the castle. You know, down the bottom here. Because... Um, I know there's some good weapons over there. Don't really want to be fighting no dragons right now. But I will go this way. Why is there always one of these little bat things out in the daytime here? You know, they're never out in the daytime anywhere else. But they're always out in the daytime here. Very strange. I wonder why bats always have the sonic, you know, the supersonic ability in everything. Like, do bats in real life have a supersonic ability? I, I don't know. Never checked. Never tried it. Never uh, researched it, sorry. Someone should research it while listening. Unless you actually know. You know, but don't do one of them guess knows, you know, where you just think you know, so you say, yeah, yeah, it does, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, they do, if, if genuinely they do. And then you believe someone, and then you have to fucking find out that you believe the lie. That does happen a lot though, doesn't it? You know, like, you question something, you're like, is this the true or not true? And people just tell you, yeah, yeah, it's true, yeah, yeah. But they, they, they haven't done any of the research themselves, you know? Like, they just, they just get it. But you would assume, because so many games have given bats sonic, sonic things, you know, like Pokemon and this, um, and probably other games, or things, you know, you would assume that, you know, uh, bats must have something like that, you know. Because, yeah, they're blind, you know, and what would, what would this, maybe they send out like a, eek, like a sheik, and they listen to it bounce off of the, um, off of the walls, and they kind of get a layout of what's going on. Yeah, a bit like Daredevil, you know, that show, Dare, the movie Daredevil. Fuck the show, I never seen the show, but the movie, that movie was sick. The Bullseye. Bullseye was one of the coolest villains. That's where I'm missing something. Jubbly. Yeah, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna actually think it's safe to assume that um, I ain't falling for that. I felt for that on my very first playthrough ever, and I was in bloody Kaled, wandering around. Didn't even know I could fast travel. Ended up trying to walk back. Ended up did walking back. That was rough. <laughs> Honestly, and I, I didn't even go. When I first spawned in, I literally went to the church of Ella and come this way and went in there. 
and then went straight to Caded. Literally, like, I was so fresh. Hello. Ah. You must be the new Tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a Gil Lake, fledgling. A dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Don't be a fool. You know what, mate? Don't. Maybe I should talk like that. Maybe people would take me more serious if I just occasionally let my voice go down into like a, like a deep and resonating sound. Maybe it would be a better place. I need to find the Elden Ring. Here we go. This is one of the coolest bloody moments ever. They need to do more of this in, in Elden Ring. More, more little clan battles going on. I love this part. They should have done more of these. Definitely. No, no, no. I should have bloody let some of the soldiers live and killed the little minions because there's more of them. Huzzah. But where are we? We're here. Um, do I want to go down into that castle now, or a little bit later. What's this? Right, I know we got the magic, magic girl over here. Magic girl. I know there's a cave. There's a there's a traveling caravan thing. Um. Traveling caravan. Here is where you find the blood, blood fang sword. Don't really want that. Though. I don't think that's a strength weapon. It's a dex weapon, isn't it? It's a, just a really good dex weapon. I think everyone uh uses it, don't they? Um, I think we're just going to go on our little journey to um, the castle. I want to see like the, uh, I think you get, I think you get a great sword there and also um, a hellbird, hellbird, halberd. Um, so yeah. I feel like this place is going to be the place for me to kit myself out a little bit, you know? Jesus! Oh God. How far back is the fucking shrine? Oh yeah, nice. I don't remember remember being this bad at the game. Uh, maybe I was, I just didn't realise I was. I like that hammer. I like that hammer he's got there. I would use that. He tanked up one of my hits.
So smooth. So nice. It's really smooth. I want that hammer. I'll probably get it if I farm it. Nice, two smithing stones. No, no, we got four smithing stones. Because that one gave me three. Lovely. I want that war hammer. Or one handed hammer. Whatever it's called. I'm going to quickly uh, just fight them again. Just, I might get it, but I'm only going to do it once. Let's, let's put the two into dexterity at the moment, just to get that out of the way, because you're, you're probably going to need some. We're doing okay. Plus, dex will put my uh, damage up a little. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Brass shield. No! God, I'm so rubbish, you know? Jesus Christ, I'm garbage. <sighs> I reckon if I do it one more time, I might get the, the hammer. I like a hammer. Yeah, I'll do it one more time. If I don't get it, I might do it again. <laughs> it's my playthrough. Right, let's see if I can not be so newbie this time. Still newbie. Where's the other hammer gun? Oh, he's back here, isn't he? Give me that. Is it a hammer or is it a pick? Uh. Is it a hammer or a pick? I can't tell. If it's a pick, I don't want it. I don't know, I've never used a pick. I reckon a pick might actually be a good weapon. Like, if you think about it, in real life, when they've all got armor, or even without armor, I think a pick is quite a good weapon, to be honest. Especially if it had a hammer on the other end, like that does. You know, you could use it as a pick or a hammer. It's not very, uh, cool, but it's, uh, I think it would be a good weapon. Right, come on, take three. Hold on. It's a pick. This guy with his bloody tankiness. I think it's a pick, you know. But it, it, it acts like a hammer. It's pretty much hammery. Strong. I want it. I want it. I shouldn't have leveled up this axe. I should give myself time to just play around, leave them at low level. You know, don't know what you want until you found it, do you? And, yeah. I think you can farm um, Titan Nut Shards anyway. I'm determined to get up here. Because it's the pick of destiny. I'm farming smithing stones. Good. 
I wonder if you can even get it off these. I'm pretty sure you can. It's only a pick. It's not exactly a fucking legendary sword. I like my little skirt thing, but I don't like the rest of it. The skirt's cool, though, isn't it? Probably keep the skirt and chuck on a bit of a uh, plate. Pick. So beautiful though, it's so amazing. It's like a golden pick. Like a black and gold pick. I'll try one more time. And if I if I don't get it this time, I'll move on because I might bump into some more. It might be an item that's actually out in the world, you know? I've never actually kept an eye out for that weapon. I don't think many people have. It's quite a I can't imagine it's a popular weapon. Oh, come on, you can do this. <gasps> I didn't break it. Oh, you bastard! Give me the pick. Look at it. It's fantastic. Killed you already? Where the fuck was you? <sighs> anyway, we'll move on. I think if you don't want to break things, you've got to sprint jump onto them. That's it, Castle the Morn. South. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. <laughs> you see. But I swear I, I see, yeah. frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Right. I... So she's... I fear for Father's She's life. been told to go out the on her own in this dangerous us. wilderness. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father <laughs> at the castle? <sighs> and my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Yes, give me the letter. Thank you. Thank you, dearie. Please. Then please take this. Take this. Irana's letter. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Will do. Good luck. Right, hopefully we get the pick. It might be a really rare drop. It might be a really good weapon, like a little hidden gem that not a lot of people know about. No pick from that guy. I, I, it's all about killing the dogs first, you know. These dogs are the worst.
Especially when there's a fucking whole pack of them. Alright, come on then. I ain't getting away this time. Just get him before he can even have a chance to unsheathe his sword. The pick might be a weapon that's already exists. Smith and Stone too. <laughs> do we do that direction, that direction, or here? Or straight to the castle. I think we go straight to the castle. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be a complete completionist on it. I think I might just, um, you know, do it my way. And, you know, we get to the DLC a bit quicker. How many have we got? Two. Um, let's do uh, again that. I know we get, we can fight the Black Knight and we get a flail thing, don't we? Nice, we could buy Smith and Stones 1 and 2. I could. Bastard Sword, nice. Raises HP, that would be nice. These Kunai's are good as well, Kukri's. We need to remember he's got a stone key. I wish, I hope the crossbow has been leveled up. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> We're moving on. I think there's a, uh, if you come here at night time, you can fight one of them, one of them creatures. I think. I think if you come here at night time, is it, is it here or is it somewhere else? I think you can fight a uh, one of them bloody hard things, whatever they are. What are they called? Um, what the fuck are them things? They're really ugly. They've got baby heads. What's well, the uh, There's another game I played where there was a scary baby. Um, I think it was Resident Evil. The one where that wo giant woman with the big titses and the claws. What was it? There's a giant baby in it. It's, it's bloody scary, it was. Come on. Never gonna use that, am I? The bloody great ammo arrows. Like, when do you even get a great bow? I, 
Do you know what? I always think there's a bloody item in here. I swear I found an item in here once. Alright, this bit's gonna be a challenge. Some Alright, let's pick them all off one at a time. We'll try to take as minimal damage as we can because we're at that part where, you know, we can't go making any mistakes. Where's the nearest dog? Stay on the outskirts first. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I need to get one of them Estus flask increases. I'm not sure where... Because I know you can take some of these out without triggering them. Where's the bloody stealth? There we go. We trigger a couple of them. of Vorostadung. Bloody nuisance. Look at that axe! And look, the one that got away ends up stabbing me in the back. There we go. And we go for backstabs on this guy. Charged. Heavy! Any posture breaking? Ah, and a backstab. Okay. Right, we've got him down there. Big bloody metal head. Do we need to kill him? Uh, we should. Sneak up on him, see if we can get some dirty damage in early. I'm faster than him, look. Jesus, he's eager, isn't he? He's an eager beaver. Uh, oh no, not the bloody archers. I swear there's another way you can go. No? Let's try and trigger him as... Oh shit. Fall off the edge. Get over here. Let's try and lure him over. I don't want to go off the edge. There we go. Get him nice and close. Oh, 
Where's the other one? Did he fall off? Oh, you bastard! I'm thinking I might need to level up this battle axe to fight the boss here because I know he's a tough one but I might want his weapon you know the I think you get the great sword off of him and I might want that uh, do I do it do I do it I've only got to kill them and then I can speak to the to the king no, to the commander it's so tempting isn't it I'll, I'll abandon mission if I have to, you know? If I can. Oh, wow. Well. It spoiled the, the gigs up. Well, we're going to have to tackle this properly. We're, we're helping out the Lord Sworn, actually. And now we're not. Oh, you fucking prick. There we go. I could kill him, couldn't I? Don't you get his stuff if you kill him? Ah, uh, that's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned. Kind of like his gear. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, there. I might use that hellbird. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Just give me a twig. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall. As commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Sword of Morn? What the fuck's that? If you see Arena, no. her father will come for her. Once he's fulfilled his duty. If yep. you see her, uh, well, I'll leave him for now. I might kill him. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but. I think I searched everywhere, didn't I? I'm not gonna level up my battle axe. I'm actually not gonna do it. I'm gonna go fight with this battle axe. Whatever. How much points do I need for level up? One thousand three hundred and thirty, or one thousand three hundred twenty-nine. Um, how much do these give me? That's four hundred. Oh, I've got enough. Uh, what was it? One thousand three hundred and something. I think we just pop three of these. I think that might be enough, isn't? I can't remember how much I said. <laughs> yeah, 
I thought I did think this. Alright, so let's get one of these. That should be enough. Should be enough to clear out this boss anyway. He's quite a tricky boss though, isn't he? Oh, I struggled with him before. I find him really difficult. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck oh, that. I can't remember if there's anything worthy up there. I swear there's sink up there. Huh? An item. Oh, well. Take as minimal health damage as possible. Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. He's a badass. We've got this. Oh, he, he knows you're coming. He knows you're coming. Shit. Yes. Yes. Nice. This axe is good. It is a good axe. Twin blade talisman. I ain't even got no talismans. Enhances final hit of attack chain. I think that could work. Especially on a boss. What's the sacrificial twig? Oh yeah. Sac I can hear Sank. The sacrificial twig is um, means that you uh, don't lose your runes. It's quite an awkward one to put on, though. But I guess if you're thinking, if you're thinking, you can do it. Tarnished sunflower. What the fuck does that do? I want to know what the tarnished sunflower does. Where is the tarnished sunflower? Oh, it's there. Material used for crafting. Okay. Huzzah! Oh, fuck. 300 Leonidas style. Hopefully I can kill this boss before this video gets to over an hour. So hopefully I can kill him first time. But he's a tough, tough cookie.
I swear there's another big guy here, is there not? Yes. But, lovely jubbly. Cool, I, I was not getting hit by him there. That was the luckiest thing I've done on it. I don't think I've died yet in Castle Morn, have I? No. Is there any items around here? I think there's one over here. Or is there just a giant crab? I can't remember. Fucking giant crab and an item. Oh wow, fire arrows. Mate, Joe, well, I'm fighting you. Shouldn't have took this fight. My stupid pride kicked in. Come on, I've got to kill it at least. Fucking crabs! Is that a fucking... Oh, okay. I thought that was a, uh... An invader. Right. Time for the boss. I wonder if I can land on this jellyfish. It saves me fighting that guy. Nice, I did. Fucking bastard. Right. I haven't got any special drinks or anything. Let's do this. This guy. Bastard. Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> My weapon didn't really do much, did it? <laughs> Not a lot of damage. Not enough damage. Let's see if I can... I can land on this rock, actually. And I won't anger the jellyfish community. I be, I didn't do enough damage, and I've got to learn his patterns. When can I get that one swing? When can I not? Right, let's see what he's got to offer. Nice. It looks like a staggerable boss. Just give me some room, you bastard. Let me heal up. Fuck off. Try and get these staggers in. Stagger. Shit. I 
I think I can do him. I think. I hope. I know. Of course I can beat him. It's definitely possible. But it's, can I beat him like in a reasonable amount of tries? That's the question. What could I do better from that last one? I think run away and just hit him when I can. You know, if, instead of having to dodge and all that crap, you know, just, just run away. Wait for him to miss a really big one and then just hit him. And also, go get in the rooms. Fucking knob! Don't lose too many health. I guess we're going to end the episode here and the next episode we're going to have to do it because otherwise it'll go on too long. Well, if you've stuck with me throughout all of this, thanks. Um, I hope you're enjoying and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the other side because we are going to get through all of Elden Ring. See you next time.